Good morning, everybody. Here we go. We're going to start with a weekly summary. $1,140, active 34 hours, online 65 hours, and in 43 trips. It is Friday. These are the earnings from Friday. $214, active 6 hours, online 13 hours, trips 8. I am going to follow this bird around for a little bit and talk about Uber. Look, today is the sixth video in the series. If you haven't seen the last five, I highly recommend them. They're all over an hour and show you exactly how I got to the earnings that I'm at today. Today is Saturday. We're going to start a fresh day just like this birdie over here. We're supposed to be like birds as independent contractors. We're supposed to be free. We're supposed to be able to charge what we want. We're supposed to be able to pick up who we want. We're supposed to be able to go wherever it is that we want. Unfortunately, Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, DoorDash, these so-called gig companies don't allow it. That is okay. This is what my channel is dedicated to. And in today's video, you will see where I end up on my quest to making $1,500 a week. I was tired last night. I drove home 80 miles without picking up any passengers because Uber was only offering five or $10. And I said, no, it's Friday night. I deserve better. My friends, my name is Ahmed. Thank you and welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Now it's time to turn this bad boy on and see what she has to offer. Remember, this is a she. This is a bad girl, bad girl, bad Uber. I'm just kidding. Okay, I turned the app on. I will let you guys know. But honestly, it's a Saturday. I'm going to drive free and I'll go anywhere. Uh, as long as I can make around 200 bucks, ideally $300, right? Normal, my normal routine is going this way. I don't mind going this way. I might not go this way. I might try going this way towards Hemet. This is the closest airport to me. It's in Palm Springs. It doesn't hurt to check it out. I haven't driven in Palm Springs in a while. And it's showing the first flights are coming in around 8 in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning, and then 10 o'clock, right? I normally don't drive in Palm Springs, but if Uber takes me that way, it's good to pay attention and know where the closest airport is. And for a video of the day, I want you to check this out. This video is from Kim Java. Uh, two months ago it came out, it's got 440,000 views and it's got some great information in here. If you want to just do a search for what went wrong, Uber drivers 120,000 mile Tesla and you will get to it. And on the left you can see all the videos that are lined up for me to listen to about Uber drivers and the Uber industry today. This is everything that I need to check out all the way down to the Amazing Hustlers. So Amazing Hustlers right here. If you want to pause this and check out the industry news, these are all the people I follow and I learn from every single day. That's their mind frame. Eight years or 100,000 miles mm -hmm. is the warranty on the buy tree. They don't expect you to do 100,000 miles in a year. Right. So you basically put eight years in, in one, one year. year. Lots of calls from people who moved from gasoline cars just because they have seen this on your channel. Check out the video. It was given to me by somebody in my WhatsApp group and it blew me away. I'm watching it one more time just so I can understand why I should not buy a Tesla, why I should not buy an electronic car. There's so many people pushing this technology in California and Uncle Uber is saying no. My friends, my audience, I heard you. You said you like the videos that I create about the locations that I go to. So here, this is Cherry Valley Lakes. It's just around the corner from where I live. It was a beautiful day. I saw the haystack. I saw this open field. And I noticed it's about to rain, or it just stopped raining for a little bit. Got my camera out to take some beautiful, scenic, videos and photos that I can share with you on my YouTube channel and also it helps to break up the videos about maximizing your uber earnings because it gets a little bit boring looking at that stupid screen all day my apologies this is how I drive my friends you take it easy you enjoy the day because it's not the algorithm that pays you the universe takes care of you the nature takes care of you and yes! God takes care of you not these stupid algorithms 
that it has to be seven dollars and fifty cents in order for that to be profitable. I am in Marina Valley now. I've had two opportunities for very low amounts. And this is the beauty of cherry picking. We don't have to take those, right? It's Saturday. People don't wake up till 9, 10 o'clock, and then it's busy, busy, busy. So I'm going to wait here, turn the app back on, give it five minutes. If I don't get anything, then I'm going to leave, head towards UC Riverside. If nothing happens there, then I'm going to head to downtown Riverside by Mission Inn. Nothing happens there. Then around 9-ish or 9.15, I want to be at Ontario Airport when the flights are coming in. Um, I think 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning, it's a good time to be at Ontario Airport. So remember, the right share guys tells us what? Have a plan, right? I've showed you my plan. Home to Moreno Valley, to UC Riverside, to downtown Riverside, okay? Then I keep positioning myself, turning the app on, turning the app off, disrupting the algorithm. And the patience, patience is working on my YouTube channel, working on my meditations, um, enjoying the day, right? Taking videos, taking pictures, um, watching videos of other YouTubers and sharing that content with you. And with that note, remember, like this video. Thank you. I just had a homeless guy who tried to open my door. This is why you drive with your doors locked, my friends. And this is pro tip. Even when you're picking up passengers, have your doors locked. Look at the passenger, make sure you're comfortable with the person that's going to come in your car. And if you get a weird vibe and you don't feel like picking them up, cancel that ride. All right, we're going to get started again. I got gas. I'm going to turn the app back on. I gave it a time out for another uh, 20 minutes. See if something pops up. If not, we're going to start heading to our next uh, destination, which is going to be Mission Inn. Oh. So the time is 8.55 in the morning. And remember, on a Saturday, it doesn't pick up till sometimes 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. It is what it is. So I take it easy. I've learned, I've learned, I've learned the hard way. Okay, I was driving when this ride popped up, so I wasn't able to look at the details, right? So let's study this together. I couldn't see the 73 miles, right? I couldn't see the La Quinada, which is Palm Springs, right? Now, for 73 miles, my car is going to be, what, 20 miles? No, let's say 25 miles is $6. So 6 times 3, 18. So it's going to cost me $20 in gas. 24 minus 20, $25 is what I make for going one hour and 15 minutes. Maybe I get a tip, maybe I don't get a tip. I don't think this is a good move for me, right? So this is what we're gonna do. Because I was driving and Uber gave me this option and I couldn't take it, like, I couldn't make this decision, right? We're gonna go over here and we're gonna say cancel this. And you, I normally write problem with the pickup route. And the reason why we're canceling this is very simple. When I'm driving, I can't look at all the details, right? I just saw 44 bucks and I was like, it's probably going to LA, let's go. But when I found out it's going to Palm Springs uh, and I'm only going to make $25, hour and 15 minutes, and I'm going to end up in an area where it's not that profitable, right? It's Saturday. Why would I sacrifice my whole Saturday to be in Palm Springs? This is what I've learned from driving Uber, right? It's okay to cancel. I had to pull over at UC Riverside and talk about the homeless situation because I think it'll help people out. I was sitting in my car, I'm looking, and I see the same same dude walk up all the time because I go to similar gas stations. The homeless person's walking to my car, holding his pants up, totally out of it, and then he walks by and looks at my, 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 my door, right? He looks at my door, and I'm like, oh, man, this fool's going to try to open my door. I locked it, right, because I was going to get gas. I was taking notes because I'm sitting here working on my YouTube channel. I locked it. Then a minute later, when I'm not paying attention and I'm working, then he came back and he tried to open it. When he saw that I saw him and we made eye contact, he didn't do anything. But he gave me what he was going to do. He went and started looking at my back door, right? When he started looking at my back door, I locked it. Then he left. Then two minutes later, he came back and he tried to open the door when I was busy. And that's what I want to tell you guys. Look, pay attention. You're in a gas station. You're getting gas. 
have your doors locked when you're working. Trust me, out here in California, especially in areas like Riverside, Moreno Valley, uh, Palmdale, Lancaster, Long Beach, even Santa Monica and Venice Beach, it is getting nasty, it's getting dangerous. You guys, be careful. These homeless people are not like normal homeless people anymore. It's the time is 9.23 in the morning and we're gonna turn the app back on. 9.23, now you can see right here, I am really close to UC Riverside and I'm gonna turn it on. And basically it's 9.30, we're gonna go right from here, we're gonna bypass downtown and we're gonna go right to Ontario Airport because from what I remember, I gotta be at Ontario Airport by 10 o'clock, otherwise I miss the 10 o'clock. I've been sitting here working on my YouTube channel a little bit too much. And we had that $44 nasty ride to La Quinta that I had to cancel. And after that, I had to take a little bit of break and meditate. Okay, we're gonna add another 20 miles and end up in Ontario Airport. Maybe we get lucky on the way. So far, I've driven 30 miles to position myself uh, for better opportunities. And maybe I'm gonna end up going around 50 miles before I pick up anybody. That's 50 dead miles. So. I'm making a little bit of mistakes today because generally on a Saturday I can I can I can move right so I'm trying to figure out is it because I started a little bit late or is it because I'm working on my YouTube channel and not paying attention to what's popping up but I think on Saturdays it just starts a little bit later you know sometimes I think it starts at 10 or 11 o'clock the farther away you are from where people are that is the first thing that popped up before I give you an example look five miles away um, that's going to take 32 minutes to do 20 miles, right? Money-wise, it's okay, but why would I go do that when I can still do Uber XL at the airport and drive less? Because I've already driven 45 miles to get to the airport, so I'm not going to take this, but that's actually not a bad ride. So the timing is good. Just by me sitting here and making this five-minute video so far, um, I'm almost up in the queue. But this is what I want to show you. We're going to go one at a time, okay? We're going to go Monday. Look on the bottom right here where my face is. $36 in tips, right? That is what I'm talking about. That doesn't happen every day. Now look at Tuesday. $44 in tips, right? Just keep looking down here. $44 in tips, right? That is why I was able to make $249 on that day. Look at Wednesday. And I have a point here. A little bit less. But look, my money is less. I made $209, right? Because the tips were less. Look at Thursday, right? Tips are good. I ended up making $242. Friday, the tips are very low and I got tired. The energy was off, right? So basically, I try to get to $200. My minimum is $150, but the days the tips are good, we end up making $250, sometimes $300. And that's my point. $1109. Got to be very patient. Just keep working in the background. Oh my God, that's nasty. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm in Uber prison right now, but I got to make some money. The time is 1124. So we're going to go ahead and take this and see, maybe I get lucky in Temecula and I'll be in an area where it's raining and I can pop something out from there. And it almost makes me feel like the morning ride for $44 that I canceled on Palm Springs, maybe that was not a good idea because it could be, sometimes you cancel and it's a slow day and it's raining. Uh, that might've been a bad move, but hey, we'll, we'll, we'll find out what happens. I hope I pronounce this right. Tomasina? Tomasina. Tomasina. Perfect. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I am good. I'm going to double check. Corona? That is correct. To Mexico Valley. Okay. Yep. How was your flight? The flight was good. How long has it been raining here? You know, you brought the rain. I have to tell you. <laughs> it just started. Really? About, I would say, less than an hour ago. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I know we always need it, but coming from cold to a little rain. Oh. I was hoping I would get a little sunshine. Where do you come from? <laughs> Alabama. Okay, okay. So the, you guys had a snowstorm out there, right? They did. You know, welcome. It's like, I think it hasn't rained much this season, so. It hasn't. We need the rain. So. Yeah. 
and then it's not as cold here down there, so we'll take this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's about 20 degrees lower there. Oh man, I had I had a buddy in Chicago send me a video. It's like it's like a zero degrees, and he's yeah, driving in the snow. Exactly. So this here we'll take. You out there for work? Work and to visit family. Oh, okay. So a little bit of both. That is good. It is raining in California. That is a rare occasion, so enjoy it. And now we're going to talk about the last passenger. Awesome African-American lady from Alabama. The ride was $18. She gave me a $6 tip. We ended up making $24. I've driven 77 miles today. I'll take it. And I got lucky because it was raining. I helped her with service. I helped her with the bags. And then we talked a little bit about California. We talked a little bit about why she's out here. She said her and her husband moved out to California about five years ago. He got a job, but her kids are grown up and they live in Maryland, Colorado, and one of them lives in Alabama. And I was like, how old are you? And uh, well, I didn't ask her her age. She didn't tell me, but I swear to you, this African-American beautiful woman looked like she was 30 years old. And she's like, I'm having a grandkid. I was like, no way, no way. And that's the conversation we had today. So a friendly reminder, my friends, sometimes it's slow, right? If you notice, notice I left maybe five hours ago from home and I just made $25. But this is why we have goals. My goal is 150 to $200. We're at 24, let's get to $50. Let me show you my screen so you can see some of the details. Okay, Temesco Valley. We're actually in Temesco Hills, okay? You can see that right on the map right over here. And let me show you where we came from, right? Because I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. So for local people that drive out here can kind of understand why I took this passenger. Okay, this is Ontario Airport. We are right here. And I'm hoping there's not a lot of drivers here and I get lucky. This is why I kept all my options on right here. While I was driving, I left everything on except for pets. Like, do you really want to deal with pets in the rain and that smell? Not me, my friends. As you can see, 11.24 is when I picked her up. Right now, the time is 12.25, right? That basically means it took about one hour to go pick her up, load everything, drop her off, and for me to start recording this video. And out of that $25, at least five dollars has gone to gas i'm not whining i'm not complaining i'm just letting you guys know we have to pay attention to the amount of money that's going in our pocket originally we were supposed to make 18 dollars, right now 26 miles this should be one to one ratio the base rate for this ride should have been 26 dollars this is extra money going in uber's pocket which is why i have a youtube channel and i'm teaching you all how to drive and uh, we work together as a team further down you can see because of this tip i got saved had this been properly done and we got paid let's say 26 dollars for this ride another six or eight dollars on top of this we would have made 32 dollars now ask yourself 32 dollars for something like this five dollars goes to gas you know 27 28 goes in our pocket that's worth it now let's take a look at my game plan. I am over here. Um, Lake Elsinore, I can get lucky sometimes. There's homes here and there is uh, homes over here. And there's a bunch of communities that, that are moving in over here uh, and not a lot of drivers come out this way. So I have one option to go that way. Another option is I can go backwards and end up somewhere here and get lucky and if I go that way I will end up in Los Angeles and if I go that way I will end up in downtown Riverside where I'm thinking some of the kids near the university might need a ride because it's raining now I'm gonna further zoom out over here and show you um, this is a potential spot for money uh, this is very low this is very low but there's people that live in, live here that I explained to you already 
Um, I think the closest place is going to be here and here for potential for money. And maybe, uh, you know, from here we can end up here or we might end up here. And if we do, I'll do the airport run again. This is what I'm thinking. Now I am on my way to the location where I think I might have a chance to get more passengers and check out some of the beautiful locations in California. Some cars drive very fast in the rain. I don't understand why. But I'm just admiring the roads and the, you know, just the wet look. And uh, again, this is a whole different area in California where houses are recently built. I'm gonna use Corona at the crossing, or crossing at Corona as a guide. It's 12 minutes, 6.8 miles away. Park there, work on my YouTube channel a little bit more. And um, this food place is there. A lot of people live out there. I'm hoping I get lucky. If not, then I'll slowly move further and I'll go towards Orange Heights um, or Corona and then you can see Home Gardens. I'll end up over there somewhere. But again, we're going to move seven miles and then wait 15 minutes over there. Move seven miles, wait 15 minutes over there and slowly work our way back to Ontario Airport. And who knows, I might get lucky. And we got lucky. I was listening to my podcast, saw $38 for 37 miles. It's raining, it's an Uber XL. I went ahead and took it. It should have paid more, but it's all good. I was like, we're skinny. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Who else? Who else is going back there? Oh, no, back Me? In the back. Me? Hold on, girl. Gavin, Natalie. Thank you much. Okay. I need help. Thank you so much. Roomy. This is roomy. We have room for another one in the <laughs> Okay, you guys are ready for the winery. Nice. Yeah. Rain or shine. Let's do it. I know. It's like a girl's night out, huh? It is. Yeah. What are you guys celebrating? Birthday. Okay, birthday happy birthday. Right happy birthday. Girls day out because we're older and we like yeah. to go to bed on time. <laughs> I know. That's why. That's what happens. <laughs> You know, you rain older. rain is rare out here. Yeah, I know, no. that's what we just and said the one days, time. I know, the one time we get together. Because it's hard to get together. That's why, right? That's why it's rare. Are you sure, Angie? Okay, let's come to you. Dámelo, Natalie, so you take a break. No, but there's space, actually. I have it a room for my head to, to turn on. Okay. No, the 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 bouquet. No, I'm good. Yeah? Your space, yeah. Oh, okay. Just dropped off six women that are celebrating a birthday. I picked them up from Dos Lagos, which is near Corona, California, and I dropped them off in Temecula Wine Country. The location is called Bell. Vito or hopefully I got it right. It's kind of hard to see right now, but uh, They were cool. I helped them with the umbrellas. I went out. I put my hat on I moved the seats forward so they can get in I wish them happy birthday and they were laughing and they were joking. They're having a great time um, I got quiet. I let six women talk do their thing when I dropped them off I got their umbrellas Again, I moved the seats up. I held the cell phone for one of the ladies that was getting out because she was having a hard time. She was a little big. She, she shouldn't have been sitting in the back, but you know, that's not my fault. When six people want to fit in my car and you know, you're a little big, you shouldn't go in the back seat. But anyways, I dropped them off. I recorded some footage. The customer service is what got me a tip. Roughly, we are at, well, you will know in the next screen. I think it's 70 or $73 and two passengers meaning the first passenger gave me a tip because of service second passenger gave me a tip because of service right now i'm halfway at the minimum that i want to be at for today 
which is $150. Now enjoy a little bit of wine country in Temecula and some of the beautiful scenery to some music. I was trying to cross the street it took five minutes because so many cars were coming by but i got to my car to pick up the next pass oh. oh that was a mission the time right now is 2:05 p.m right so in the morning you know for the first four hours we got nothing then we got two passengers fairly close to each other and this is how we've reached 73 dollars I knew I was close, it was in the 70s. So the last passenger gave me $48, but we're gonna take a look at the details and see how we got to $48, okay? Well, the $10 tip is the key, right? Right here, look, $10 tip, that's key number one. Key number two is the decision that I made, but let's look at the mileage. 36 miles for $48, this is good. We got one to one or a little bit more than a dollar a mile. Uh, if you look down here, Right there, you can see $36, sorry, 36 miles for $38, right? So this ride back in the days for 36 miles would pay you around $70, $75. They've cut that in half. So the only way to make the $48 right here is thanks to the customer's tips. See, if this lady didn't give me a tip right here, if I didn't get this tip, then I would have barely made a dollar a mile for this. Driving in the rain, right? in the middle of nowhere, dealing with wet shoes, dealing with six people in the car and umbrellas. Um, you know, I'm just saying it's risky, right? And I've read an article somewhere the other day where it said Uber drivers or driving for Uber and Lyft is more riskier than cops. And I'll tell you more about that later on today. We're gonna look at these side by side. And you know, I started early, like seven, 7.30 in the morning. Um, this is where we're at, right? And this particular one, oh, I like this. 
44 minutes and 44 seconds. Damn, if it was 44 miles for $44, that would have been perfect, okay? And right here, you can see all the details for this passenger. $48 for 55 minutes for an hour. See, $48 for an hour is not bad. Going 36 miles, it basically cost me, I would say, I don't know, 20 miles a gallon, uh, five, six dollars. So that cost me maybe $10 in gas. If we look at our weekly earnings, I'd like to show you by the time I get to $1,200, the goal is still to get to $1,500, right? By tomorrow. So I have rest of today. If I can get to two fifty, dollars I mean $1,250 or $1,300, then it's very easy to get to $1,500 tomorrow. Now the details are right here. Active for around 36 hours. Online for 70. We're still on par for 2 to 1 ratio. Uh, 70 hours online for 35 72 would be you know ideal now 45 trips is getting a little bit high for me right because i still have to drive tomorrow i try my best not to do more than 50 trips so maybe i hit 50 today because i have to change my strategy strategy a little bit i'm in wine country in temecula i might take little passengers over here um, and then see if i can get lucky and boot one right out okay and take a look right there, $73 today on a Saturday, active for one hour and 57 minutes. We're gonna call that two hours and online for five hours and 19 minutes, around five and a half hours, right? That's a good three, three and a half hours of just sitting and working on my YouTube channel. I don't mind, but if you don't have a plan, you don't position yourself and you're not patient, you're not gonna make this kind of money, my friends. And without the tips down here, look, $16 tips, uh, I would be in trouble right now for the amount of time that I've started driving. So us drivers, literally, we depend on the tips. Now, let me show you a map of where I'm at and how I got here, okay? Right here is where my car is in Temecula in wine country. Right here is where I dropped off the first passenger. Right here, roughly, is where I picked up the first passenger. So we're going to say one here, and then we're going to put an X right here right here where it says number two is where i picked up the second passenger right and where i'm circling right here this is where i dropped off the first passenger so first passenger went from here to here then i repositioned myself and then the second passenger brought me here well i didn't take the arrows you know i'm just showing you with the arrows where i'm at hopefully this helps you guys out now the plan is simple i'm gonna stay i'm gonna stay right here for 10 to 15 minutes and see if I can pick up a, a short fare where I can move people around. If not, then I'm gonna work my way to Temecula and from here it's gonna open up for me. I can go this way towards Marietta, that's one option. I can go this way towards French Valley, this is a second option. And I can go this way towards Fallbrook, which is basically gonna put me towards San Diego. Um, there's nothing over here. If I go here, I'm not gonna get anybody coming back, okay? So that's the plan, I'll keep you guys posted something did pop up let's look at that 20 minutes roughly i'm not going that far away to pick up somebody and then drop them in french valley i don't even know what's going to happen over there but here's the thing this is the first thing that popped up never take the first ride the first ride has been sitting there for a little bit always ignore it okay i have pets on by accident let's turn that off we're going to turn uber x on and then again we're just going to sit here and we're going to wait we're in no rush and this is my secret spot out here in Temecula. I'm gonna go and reposition myself, get gas, maybe grab something to eat, take a little bit of a break. And in this, I'm walking away from that dollar sign right there, which means Uber's got about a few minutes to give me whatever is sitting over there. If nothing, then I'm out of here. They just lost another driver. And in Pachanga, I can sit there, I can work on my YouTube channel, um, and hopefully get lucky and pop a long ride out. And my philosophy is very simple. Cherry pick and the least amount of rides we do and the most amount of money we make is ideal. Um, otherwise, we're taking too much of a risk in the rain. I don't want to take 10 passengers in the rain. I want to take four or five, make my money and get out and keep it safe for me and keep it safe for my car. My car is important. What did I tell you guys? Right when I start moving, it'll pop something. And a 469, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Think of it like this. A 469 in wine country means 
Um, it's somebody that's dealing with alcohol and it's XL, meaning too many people fitting in your car. It's raining. For $10, that's not worth it. Six people in your car should be $60 right now. And if they, if Uber's not going to give you that, good luck. Because I know other drivers that are smart are not going to be doing that. See, I told you, when it start leaving, it's going to start pushing. What is this? 30 minutes to go about, I can't even read it. It looks like about 15 miles for $13. No, I'm cool. No, thank you. That's three that popped up when it knows that I'm leaving. But as long as I was sitting there, and as long as I was waiting there, it won't pop anything. It won't show me anything, right? But the moment I leave and I go to Pachanga where there's going to be less drunk people and a bigger chance and opportunity for a longer ride is going to start popping in these, these, these stupid rides. Now you guys know why I say this algorithm is broken. It's broken because those three rides Uber Excel were sitting there the whole time. When I chose to leave and go away from that area, it decided to lowball me and give me something weird while I'm driving um, where I can't pay, pay attention. I'll make a mistake and I'll pick up somebody. Then I have to cancel them. Now we're learning. And as I'm learning, you guys are learning. That deserves a like in this video. Yes! That actually deserves a comment because uh, the people that are watching my videos till the end, you'll understand. Sometimes there's the content is slow in the beginning, but the true knowledge and value and wisdom comes if you watch the whole thing. Because somewhere in the video, I'll give you tips like this that are going to save you when you're out here in wine country and you don't end up doing these little rides like this. There's a fourth one right there, right? I can't even read it because I'm driving away. But I told you, there's, there's rides sitting there, right? But it's not going to give them to you. And what are we going to do? We're not taking anything for $15 like that. We're cherry picking. We're waiting for the right moment, the right time to pop out for 30, 40 bucks. So it's worth our time. And yes, it's hard, it's difficult, but this is where the patient is involved, right? Plan, positioning, and patience. I'm going to keep reminding you, Sergio taught me this. Once he taught me this, I said, you know what? Let me teach everybody else on my channel. The way I see it is... There's four potential chances for Uber to make money right there, and it lost. There you go. What did I tell you? Yeah, I'll take this, and I'll go to El Monte, because $51 for me to go far is good. Once I'm in El Monte, I can visit my buddy. We can go have lunch. We can have dinner, right? And I'm in L.A., right? Yeah, we're still getting screwed. It's the 77 miles, but guess what? You have to pass on all that crap back there and choose to leave and go wait at Pachanga. Then it will give you what you want right now some people are going to complain like man that's that's not one dollar a mile look beggars can't be choosers right but understand the algorithm if i didn't say no to those four rides and go sit at pachanga for an hour or two or three hours and not take anything that i'm comfortable with this app is going to keep taking advantage of us i have 600 people that follow my youtube channel even if 10 people start driving like me and learn and be patient have a plan eventually what's going to happen 10 people start driving like me, 20 people start driving like me, 30 people start driving like me, right? These app companies going to make 30 times less money. Their CEO is going to get fired, right? Their stock is going to go down and eventually they will have to bend. They will have to turn, right? This is why all Uber drivers that have YouTube channels, we're important because what we're doing is we're learning from each other and we're passing the knowledge on to everybody else, right? So these Silicon Valley billionaires don't F with us anymore. And I'm pumped up, baby. I'm pumped up. How you doing, boss? Doing good. Um, going to the hotel to pick up my bag and then going home. <laughs> okay. This is for Jerry, right? Yeah, for Jerry. For Jerry. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna double check for the first stop. This would be a hotel six. Yep, yep, you got it. I shouldn't be long. I just gotta check out also. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Out of nowhere. Oh yeah. yeah. What are you doing out here? Uh, visiting family. Gotcha. You're from out of town? Yeah, I'm in um, El Monte. Oh, you live in El Monte? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. It was my day off and I figured I'm not doing anything. Oh, it's all good, man. I like it out here. It's uh, peaceful. I would say that. It's like, I wouldn't mind living here. I yeah. just, it's far from work. That's all. No, I have a buddy in El Monte. And uh, he likes it because he's a teacher out there. So he says it's a little rough sometimes, but I've heard of that town. Right now, the customer has gone into Motel 6. 
to go get his stuff. He needs to check out. And while he was in the car, I was nice to him. I was kind to him. Um, I made sure the car was close enough because it's raining so he can get in. I asked him how his day is going. And ultimately, he was telling me, like, uh, in our conversation, like, hey, how much do you get paid for this ride? And I flat out told him. I was like, bro, we barely get 50 bucks. And unfortunately, out of that $50, uh, 15 to 20 is going to gas and maintenance so 30 goes in my pocket and he's like wait a minute this takes around two hours so you only get 30 bucks I was like yeah the algorithm has it down where it will not give us more than 15 to 20 dollars an hour and it throttles it and he's like so I paid them 85 dollars that means they're putting 35 in their pocket I was like yep but I was like even the fact that you paid them 85 doesn't make any sense on a rainy day for the risk that we're taking this should not be a $50 ride. This is 77 miles. Minimum, the driver should have been paid $77 for this, right? $1 per mile. And sometimes when it comes down to minutes, if it's gonna take 90 minutes or two hours, uh, then we should get paid for that. Oh, he's here. Just dropped off my passenger and we are in El Monte. Take a little bit of video so you can see how beautiful it looks out here. And my friends, that was a long drive. From pickup to drop off, two hours. I'm a little tired. The time right now is 4.51 p.m. For $52 and 80 miles or 72 miles, man, that's brutal. But beggars can't be choosers. Right now, the conversation with Mr. Jerry was pretty cool. He was telling me he works at Home Depot and he makes $24 an hour and he gets benefits. And it really makes me question, why am I driving Uber? Oh yeah, I remember, because I have a YouTube channel and I want to make money while I'm sleeping. Yeah. But look, that ride, if we do the math, which we'll, when we look at my Uber driver app screen, we'll know, I'll talk about it when I can see the numbers. I don't think I made that much money. But in three passengers, I'm at around 125. If he gives me a tip, we'll be okay. No tip. We've driven 208 miles. Mm. It's time to go home. But let me tell you the numbers that he told me at Home Depot. He said he got a job at Home Depot three years ago. He started as an associate where he was making $16 an hour. One six. After that, he said within a year he got promoted and he was doing the night shift. He didn't like it, but the money went up. Then he started the day shift and he became a lead and eventually... Now he became a supervisor in plumbing after three years of being there. So his pay went from $16 an hour to $24 an hour. And next, he wants to be an associate manager, then possibly a manager, and he's turned it into a career for himself right now. God bless you, Jerry, good for you. And now let's take a look at my Uber driver app screen. So 125 and three rides, as you know, 208 miles. The time right now is 4.54 p.m. Let's take a look at this ride and let me show you a little bit of what's going on. First, we'll make it compact. So these are the three passengers I picked up. A lot of driving, right? 11.30, 12.45, 2.35. The last one was 79 miles for almost one hour and 58 minutes. Is that correct? Woo-wee. And I know Uber didn't tell me that. All right, so let's look at the map. We started here in Temecula, drove all the way across, and now we're in El Monte uh, near Los Angeles, okay? Um, the price difference right here of a dollar more, more is because I had to wait. He had to go in and check out of his motel. Here's the distance, 79 miles, and then two hours. Now, if we get a tip, I keep reminding you guys, you have to work for your tips. It will be awesome. Now, let's take a look at the big map so you can see the last three passengers. This is where I'm at. Where I picked up the last passenger was somewhere over here in Temecula. This is where I live, where we started this morning. And if I remember correctly, there was a passenger that we got from Ontario Airport. And then we got a passenger from over here. So in the morning, I went from here to here, which is all dead miles, okay? Then from here, I dropped somebody off here, and then I went back a little bit, and then dropped somebody off here. And then from here, we drove all the way down here. 
And that's basically been my route today and the amount of driving that I've done, which is 208 miles. I'm gonna double check my settings, turn Uber X share on, and now we're gonna to try to use the destination mode to go back. And let's look at my game plan. So if I'm over here, yes, if I go further this way, and further this way, there's more money, right? You can see the, uh, the, the gray cloud right there, right? But my home is this way and I'm tired. I wanna go home. First, I'm just gonna turn it on and see what happens, right? See if anything pops up. And if I can get something going this way, it would be ideal, right? Now, we've got the mountains here, which is a nice way to drive. There's Ontario Airport right there where I can go and hit somebody at 6 o'clock. Um, other than that, like, uh, I, don't, I don't think there's a lot of opportunities personally, right? Um, I think Commerce Casino is somewhere down here. Um, I can go there and try to grab somebody. Um, but again, it's more dead miles driving. If I'm going to do dead miles, I might as well go back this way towards my house. Because yesterday I ended up down here in San Pedro and it was a brutal drive home. I'm just checking to see how far Ontario Airport is. There you go. It's only 28 miles away. That's going to cost me, I think, around six, seven dollars of gas and half an hour. And I think if I can get there, I can get a ride going towards my home and call it a night. I don't have to keep driving, you know. And I'm using destination mode to go to Morongo Casino. Um, I live about, I think, 10 miles before this. So if Morongo is right here, I live somewhere over here. So we can say I'm about 70 miles away. So we're going to use destination mode. I can see there's not too much traffic here. And if we get lucky, we get lucky. If we don't, then from Ontario Airport, which is right here, we're going to try to get something going out this way for 20 bucks, 25 bucks, one or two rides, and then call it a night. Basically, just start driving in that area. Now I'm getting ready to go gonna put gas in my car and uh, it's unfortunate but these algorithms don't work when you're using um, the destination mode so another trick that I have that I've been showing you guys is I'll go like this and I will use my Google Maps to take me where I need to go and then I'll turn off destination mode in uber after five minutes and then just look and see if I can get something that pops up that's going in the direction that I want. And then over here on Google, what we'll do is uh, we just want to go to Ontario Airport. So I will go here and I'll type Ontario. There you go. Oh, no, I don't want to add a stop. Come here, you little punk. There we go. All right, 30 minutes to get to Ontario. I want to be there around 6 o'clock when flights come in come in and then I'll be good to go and on the left hand side we are gonna ignore um, everything and use just use destination mode for a little bit right um, to get going and in five minutes I don't get anything I'm gonna turn it off and then try to drive free that one is to Glendale opposite direction that is going towards Anaheim Oh my goodness. And I can get a ride from Disneyland back. So tempting. It's an hour to go to Venice. Man, it keeps giving me stuff that's completely opposite of where I want to go. No thank you. And finally, $8.37 on my way why not it's uber excel i get paid i will go ahead and accept this one and hopefully it works out hello hi come on in how are you i'm doing good how's it going Ahmed? yes sir right. or oh, yes ma'am sorry <laughs> oh sorry about that oh that's fine how's everyone doing all right how are you i'm good i got everyone in the car yep. yes okay Toyota Arena? Yes. yes, that's correct. What's going on over there? A hockey game. Oh, nice. So have you been busy today? Today, it was a little slow because of the rain. Ah. Uh, I thought it might be busy, but uh, a little slow. But I guess that's okay once in a while. <laughs> yeah.
you know, you get to take a little break. True. I'm literally slowly heading home. It's giving me rides to go to Venice, to go to Santa Monica, but I'm like, it's too far. After dropping off the last passengers, I ended up coming back to the airport and it was so close. Try to get this $14 ride, but no luck. And the next ride that's gonna pop up was kind of cool. They were offering, I think $7.77. When I see numbers like that, it gets me all excited, but I said, uh, no, I think we can do a little bit more than that. Although money-wise is giving you the bare minimum, right? 14 minutes to make over $7.50 is good. I went ahead and took this one for $13.52. I'm not 100% sure why I took it, but I did take it. And then I had to go and double check what the customer's rating is. Sometimes you take a ride hella fast and you don't know if it's a good or bad customer so I checked 492 all right that's good enough for me to go pick him up welcome back <laughs> yeah my double check is showing chino yeah how's it going man I'm doing good how about yourself oh man I'm a little bit tired yeah you, you look tired bro long, long flight you know what man it was three days my daughter was moving from uh San Antonio to Dallas. Okay. So it was just like three days of moving. Oh yeah, your body. Yeah. It's gonna be sore a little bit. And, um, she's like, she lived down the second story in one place, and then I was like the third floor, the next place. But you know, the, the second place had a elevator, so that was cool. But what still, you, just getting all that stuff in and out. What you have to move? She wants to live in the city. Okay, okay. Yeah, so she has a really nice apartment that just has like a view of the city. And mm. That's what she wanted. So Dallas is the city? Yeah. Okay, San Antonio was the city. San Antonio was the city she came, she moved from. Okay, so, so city to city. Yeah. But it's, it's about a 300 miles, I guess, from. Oh, okay, 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 gotcha, gotcha. So it's like going from San Diego to LA or something. Yeah, yeah. After dropping off Rudy, I ended up picking another passenger by mistake. And then I was looking at the rating and I was like, okay, this is a Pakistani guy, $18. It's gonna take a long time. It's Uber Excel, but a 4.69, I was like, let me check that again. A 4.69 at nighttime. Uh, no, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. So I went ahead and I canceled. Look, we made $147. My minimum is $150 for the day, so I was happy. But I got another one for eight bucks. Felt like um, it's close enough. It's close to my house. It's on my way home. I'm gonna go ahead and take this passenger and I'm we're gonna call it a night. And essentially, the goal is always, you know, try to get to $150 minimum. 50 goes to gas, 100 goes into my pocket. But it was a slow day, for sure. It was a slow day for a Saturday. Good. Mario? Yes. I'm doing good. How you doing, bro? Good, good. Going out for the night? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to my friend's house for a while. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Watch the UFC fight. Uh-oh, uh -oh, who's fighting today? Uh, the guy Strickland? I mean, I mean, I follow it, but not as much. But I've seen this guy fight before. Is he any good? Yeah, he's good. Dang. And I finished watching this uh, 49er game right now. They're playing. Oh, they're playing tonight? Yeah, they're playing tonight. Oh, Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah. Are they winning? They're losing right now. Who are they playing again? The Green Bay Packers. Dang, Packers might win? Yeah, they're up 13-7 right now. Dang. Yeah, they pull it off. It's an upset. Dude, there's a lot of games this weekend. Uh, uh, there was one earlier today. Who won? Uh, Baltimore beat Houston. Of course, of course. And then tomorrow, Buffalo versus... Uh, now, did Baltimore whoop them or it was close? Uh, no, they they pulled out. It was it was a good it was a close game at halftime and then they pulled away. Okay. Right? I think they won by like twenty four points or something. Dude, I think Baltimore is gonna take the whole thing. Yeah, they should. Who's your team? Ah oh, man, I like the Cowboys, the cheap Cowboys. Oh, and same here. Yeah, same no, here. Yeah. <laughs> we got yeah, our ass no, whooped. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we, <laughs> hey, we do that every year. Don't worry. Yeah, no, uh, nothing surprises me about them. It's Jerry. Get rid of yeah, Jerry, bro. <laughs>
and we're at the end of the video 155 dollars looks like i was active for around five hours online for 10 hours and six trips a little bit slow feel free to pause check it out and remember to like comment and subscribe my friends